Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I am a professional engineer in the state of Florida and I have over six years of experience using AutoCAD and AutoCAD Civil 3D. In today's video, I'm going to show you some general drafting tips to help improve your efficiency in AutoCAD. Now this is meant for beginner AutoCAD users, but if you are an expert, maybe you might learn something new, who knows. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. What I really like to do when there's a lot going on is I like to do a layer isolate when I'm drafting and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's an icon over here on the home tab called isolate. Now let's say I only want to isolate this pink line right here which represents the right of way. I can go ahead and click that guy and press enter and now I have isolated only the right of way line. This is really good if you wanted to make an update just to this line, you can kind of declutter your brain and isolate just what you are trying to edit. Now, this doesn't mean that all the other lines disappeared. All this means is that you are just isolating this layer. Now, in order to get it to come back, you can go right up here and do unisolate. Now there is a command for this, so you can do lay, L-A-Y, you can do ISO, and lay ISO, that is the command. So let's say if I just wanted to see, let's say all the pond top of banks, I can select that, and now I only have the pond top of banks isolated. I'm gonna hit on isolate. Now another command that I really love is match properties. Let's say that you had laid out all of, let's say these different lines on a certain layer, Let's say we accidentally had them on existing fence here. Well, you can actually go and match properties. So in order to initiate match properties, you can do match, type in match, match prop. And I want all of these lines here to be the lot line. So I'm going to go and click this line and then select my destination. I want all of those to be the same line here. And let's say I wanted these lines to be the drainage easement, I can do match properties again, select this line, select there. Now another general drafting tip is if you've just initiated command, in order to reinitiate the command, you can press spacebar and notice how match properties continues. I really, really love this command. Another way to improve your efficiency, if you wanted to delete a certain piece of line work here, let's say if I wanted to just go ahead and delete all of the lot lines, instead of selecting all of these manually, what I can do is select this line here, P lots. I can right click and do select similar, and I can now delete all of those. Now obviously we had something here that went wrong, but again, I can select all of these guys, right click, select similar, erase, and now you can move freely here. And now you don't have any of those lot lines. So I really love select similar, especially if let's say, you know, if I wanna grab this line and wanted to grab all of the center line line work, you can go ahead and grab these curves, right click, select similar. Because let's say you just wanted to bring all these center lines into a new drawing and add up all the linear feet of roadway, now you have a quick way of grabbing this information. Another way to improve your efficiency as you're drafting different line work, I'm gonna go ahead and initiate the polyline command. Let's say if I wanted to start drafting this lot line, and let's say you know I, I didn't have my snaps on, all the snaps that I wanted, right now I only have my endpoint. Well, if you're in mid command, you can actually initiate a snap command by holding down control right click, and then you can initiate one of these snaps here. So let's say if I wanted to get mid between two points, let's go with that. So let's say if I wanted the mid between that point, uh, some sort of point right here, well, it'll go exactly to the midpoint between those two points. That's all I had for today. I just wanted to show you guys some quick tips. I really love the layer isolate command, match properties, and the different snap command that you can use. It'll really help improve your efficiency as an AutoCAD drafter. I hope this video helped you guys. Feel free to comment below if you want me to walk through any special AutoCAD topics that you have in mind. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.